Hey YouTube, it's Nicole My More coming to you from my core. So I'm leaving the pizza store, y'all. I had got I had about enough for the uh, barbecue. It was time. And I couldn't tell you what I wanted to cook, so I decided to order out. I got the kids some cheesesteaks, I got a stromboli, and I got some hot wings for us to share. So that's how we roll in tonight. And we should have plenty of, of things to drink tonight. So hopefully I don't have to make any extra stops to do that. Um, I was thinking about doing a mukbang. But I don't know that if I, had enough, if I have enough food to really do that. Um, and it'll be like my first video in a long time. You know. So I'm not really sure. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been having severe pain right here, right? Starting to travel closer into my neck now, but it was right where my, um, my clavicle, right? Like right that soft tissue, right between my shoulder and my clavicle. I have to turn this AC on y'all. I am so, it is like truly 35,000 degrees outside. Um, so if you hear my air conditioner, just pretend like you don't, because it's hot. There's a lot of stuff going on in these streets. Too much, too much, too much going on in these streets. Um, and there's a lot going on with me in my personal life also. I think I will share that. Maybe I'll do a, a mukbang to that to, to share those things. But, um. What's really been keeping me, uh, keeping me laughing and, and rolling, giving me life is this whole China doll situation. I mean, they're going in on Tracy. Um, Tracy seems to be saying that. I don't even know because the last thing I heard was that Tracy is saying that she's not dead. Then you got Clive Diva saying that, that Tracy is China Doll. And then she kind of retracts that and says, well, no, their China Doll is a real person. But Tracy was using her account. I just, like, I don't even know. And then Five Babe comes up with, you know, then Jay Wilson does does a live. And, and China Doll, Mr. China Doll comes on. And he, you know, wants everybody to stop disrespecting his wife. And, you know, he just came back from, you know, doing funeral arrangements and this is, you know, he, she's a, young, a a loving person and all this stuff. And then Five Babe came out and was just kind of debunking him because it's like there was some things that she just felt like did not add up. I mean, and if you listen to Five Babe, a lot of the things that she was saying, yeah, she has a point, you know. But who who can really tell? So now she's saying, now she's saying that she's gonna have a part two to her video because she was able to get in touch with. Well, the cousins got in touch with her, and they they went by the house, and they got some information, so they're going to come on her and, and, and kind of relay the message as to what's going on in this China doll situation. My thing is, why is it such a big thing? Is it because Tracy was involved and people don't like Tracy? I mean, because normally when somebody passes away, you offer up your condolences and you move along. But I guess it's because Tracy's involved, you know, and then there's so many people that do not like that woman. And I have to be honest with you. When I first started listening in to the beef sector, um, you know, it was during a time when they were going in so heavy on Tracy. And Tracy had not started doxing yet, so I would listen to her. But the stuff that she would say would take it to, like the next solar system and back. I mean, it was just way too much for me. So I just decided, you know what? I don't need this in my spirit. <laughs> None of this needs to be in my life. I enjoy drama, but not that type of drama. It was just too much. So I, I, I kind of distanced myself from watching her videos. And now I feel like I'm at that same point with Uncle Tim. Like, although he, he reads down for the gods like he just got food junkie together but the thing is this it's just I don't know sometimes he takes it to that next solar system or halfway to that 
next solar system and it's just too much you know it's just too much and then i'm worried about the man the man gonna fucking drop dead on the damn video i just can't be bothered to have my feelings invested like that like i'm just like just calm down sir you are going to have a stroke or a heart attack one of the two it's gonna be right here live on this air and just like Fool Junkie said, you would have to wonder if Squeedy, you know, is going to start chowing down on you. Because, sir, you are way too excited during some of these videos when you get in your feelings. So, jeez Louise, calm it down. You're making everybody nervous. Can't do CPR or, or get the AFib out through the, through the computer screens. We can't, sir. You know? So I feel like this whole China doll thing blew up because of Tracy's involvement. They don't like Tracy. Then Clyde Diva for whatever reason, because I thought Clyde Diva and Tracy were, I thought Tracy was Clyde Diva's uh, moderator, you know, and I think that that's crazy that they've had this falling out, um, you know. Then you got Sean Bradley adding his two cents in because Jay Wilson added his two cents in and, uh, Jay Wilson had to come back and, you know, talk about that whole micro peen <laughs> comment. I mean, for the life of me, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, while you're at it, like and share this video and subscribe. I, I for the life of me, I did he did he say whether or not that comment was true or not? Because I don't remember him denying that he has a micro peen. All all I remember him saying on several different occasions, past and, and present, was that Sean wouldn't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think if I'm a man, and any man that I know of, they would vehemently deny these claims of having a micro pain. Whether they have one or not, it would just be like a standard knee-jerk reaction to say, uh-uh. I don't got no micro peen. My thing is a good size. I got a nice, and they'll, they'll either put a size to it or just leave it vague. Like I got a nice size. And my, you know, I could just imagine. I mean, I feel like he said my boo like it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I like Jay Wilson. And I feel like it would be such a, it's already such a shame for the ladies in this world who would not mind sharing a bed with that man. But it's all, and, and, and unfortunately, he would not be their cup of, you know, he would, they would not be his cup of tea. But it's, it would be, it would, it would definitely be another shame for all, all sexes if the man had a micro pen and looks, he looks, he, Jay Wilson is a nice looking man. And uh, he made a muscle one day. I had to actually drop down in the comments and say, I have to do it again. Because I was interested in the way that that thing looked. It was nice. It was, he had a nice little shape on him. You know, so it would be such a shame for his boo, <laughs> the women who, would, who wouldn't mind sharing the bed with him, and the men who he wouldn't mind sharing the bed with. It would be such a shame if it was a micro pink. It, it would be really a sad day. But um, that's his business. That's his business. You know. And then, you know, for the longest time that I have watched Sean Bradley, uh, you know, I just could not tell you who the demon slug was. And so I learned very recently in this last uh, video or so that it is um, the Oracle. <sighs> and I kind of, I, you know, there's some things about her that I don't, I don't agree with. Some things that she says, some of her views are a little out there. But I like listen to, listening to her. She seemed down to earth and she seemed like she was trying to drop some wisdom and some knowledge on us. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, some of the things she says, you know, you can't talk about people being pedophiles and not have any proof behind it. That's just slander. It just is at the end of the day, you know, and there's any and all things you could say and that's just I mean incredibly below the belt for no apparent reason you know what I'm saying like there's so many things that you can go in on about Sean Bradley that doesn't require you to involve his children involve other people's children and and things that are that that's uh 
I mean, really? That That's a pretty big statement to make without any proof, you know? So, that wasn't cool. And he read her down. I mean, I know that Sean Bradley can read, and I know when he gets ready to do so, he will do so, but I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready, and I might have been eating something that almost damn near spit or choked it, choked on, and I, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of the two, you know. Um, what else was going on? Oh, although I do like Five Babe, I still have not been able to get with the state of the beef sector lady p i know that five babe just like put out a disclaimer and qb just put out a disclaimer and they talking about hey leave lady p alone i don't have anything negative ish to say about her she is just not the right host for the state of the beef sector and she might be good on her own and her own platform or she might be even better when it comes to being on another platform where the people are not as animated as you and QB58. Um, there's nothing wrong with Lady P. She just has to find her setting. And the, the setting between someone so lively and someone else that's so lively and animated and just, you know, just vibrant. And then you got Lady P. It just doesn't work, you know. And I, I have not been able to watch a full episode of the State of the Beast Sector. I just, I want to. Believe me, I do. I want to. But I haven't been able to do so. Because it's just so night and day. She just brings the energy down. And where I want to be on some fuck shit with y'all and, 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 and kiki and laugh it up, I feel like she's like my mama in the corner telling me to be good while I'm at church and she's up in the pews or, or singing with the choir. You know, it's just... And then her stories, they take so long to get out. I had never thought that there would be like another Lady Nika-ish that just took so long to get there to their point. God bless her and there's nothing wrong with her we all just have to find the right niche and um, that just doesn't work for me it may work for other people and I'm pretty sure Lady P is a darling you know to her her people and um, on her channel and things like that but uh she, it just doesn't do it for me she just brings the energy down and I want to be up here with y'all it's like somebody who you take to a, a club or a party and you having a great time and you look over and this and this person is like ready to go. It's just it's just if that's the right way to describe it without seemingly coming across disrespectful because I don't want to be disrespectful. Again, I'm not in a beef sector like that. I just I just like mess. I don't like for it to be in my life. I like reality TV and trash TV and stuff like that. And this is just another section of it for me. Um, I'm not coming for nobody. Please believe me when I say that. I don't read anybody. Can't read anybody. I'm not about that life. I just, I enjoy being in the beef sector by just being in the bushes, dropping down every once in a while and listening to a good read. That's about it. So don't come for me, y'all. I'm nice. I'm a sweetheart. And I don't want no problems. Um, who else keeps coming out? Oh. <sighs> nope. Not even going to go there. Leave that alone. Anyway, what I said. I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at the crib. I'm about to go inside and eat. And maybe I will do a mug thing. Maybe I won't. Not sure. Don't really see too many of them done anymore. Um, but I've always been interested in doing one. So maybe I will. Bye. Please don't forget to comment below. Um, do you agree with me when it comes to Lady P and her not being in the right setting between such energetic bodies and having her just kind of like uh, draw all the fun out of it? I mean, if you if you agree with me or if you don't, you know, comment below. Let me know because maybe it's just me. Maybe I, because I haven't watched all the way through. Maybe it gets better. Maybe she livens up. Maybe she was sleepy. 
I don't know, but let me know in the comments below. And let me know, guys, is this whole China doll thing blown up because people don't like Tracy? Um, or is it that China doll herself was not a good person? I mean, what is it? Why are we dragging this out so much? Just she passed away, say your condolences and move on. Like like in any normal situation. Um, what else we talk about? Food junkie, did you do you think Food Junkie and um Uncle Tim's little tete a was uh entertaining? And who do you think won? Who 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 in your mind gets the trophy for the read awards? I do awards over here. I have um reality TV villain, which I haven't done in some time. And I'm gonna do the read awards. I'm gonna do read awards. Um, and and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give two out today during this video. I'm gonna give one to Uncle Tim because even though Food Junkie, Food Junkie had some good reads, his reads weren't quick. It was a two-hour video. I mean, come on. Um, it took him 20 of those minutes out of that two hours to eat an apple. And um, although there was some zingers in there, I would just say that Tim's was quick to the point. He got you together and got on off. So he gets the first award. The second award goes to Sean Bradley because Sean Bradley read The Demon Slug from Hell, better known as... Um, I, I'll just leave it at that because I'm really, again, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but I'm going to give the award to him because... Um, my mouth definitely stayed open for the whole time that he was reading her um, because I could not believe the, <laughs> I couldn't believe the stuff that came out of his mouth and I so he gets the other award so we had two award winners today for the read awards and that would be Tim, Uncle Tim, Timothy Blaine and Sean Bradley alright y'all y'all have a good one bye